We're Anne and Eve. After living and working in Thailand for two years, we decided it was time for a change. We've dusted our bags and we'll take you along on our journey. Another week, another vlog of a Flonar's Quest. This morning we left before sunrise. Mm -hmm. uh, one hour train ride, one hour flight and then one hour bus ride and we are in... Changkan. 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 Uh, along the Mekong in northeast Thailand. Yeah. Uh, the Isan. It's raining right now. I have no accommodation booked, so take out the umbrella and look for a bed. Familiar view. This place is also almost completely deserted. And strangely enough, slow season, COVID period during the week. And they don't get any discounts. So, as expected, rooms are pretty expensive right now. Rooms are still very expensive. Every room we see is at least 1,000, 1,500, and that is thanks to their government. You see, it's a special promotion right now for Thai people, not for experts like us. Discount one says accommodation, 40% discount. Discount two only on food, 900 baht per day. And a third one on airfare, discount three, airfare also 40% discount. So let's make it affordable for Thai tourists to travel, lucky for them, but for us, super expensive when you go to local destinations. After checking out different guest houses for one hour, we finally find a nice one with views of the Mekong River, Mani Guest House. Still a light drizzle. Don't think we're going to do a lot this afternoon. It's already 1.30. Still have to have lunch. Drink coffee afterwards. This farm is Lao. The other side. The other side is Lao, yep. Yeah. After our lunch, take a small walk next to the Mekong River. Stopped raining. Still very humid though. And in the meantime, Anne is practicing her macro photography skills. Be sure to check out her Instagram account. I'll link it below in the description box. What can be more relaxing than drinking a coffee together with your loved one and at the same time overlooking the Mekong River? After our coffee, we continue our walk. This is something typical from Chanka. It's uh, dried coconut meat. It's uh, still chew chewy, it's really good. Mmm. Candy. And it's still r raining. And feeding my husband. Nom, nom, nom. The traditional ghost mask Pita Kon is typical for Chiang Khan. The ancient story claims that after a long journey, Buddha, which his followers thought was dead, returned. The celebrations were so wild, they woke up the dead. Good morning from the sleepy streets of Chiang Khan. <laughs> no wonder everyone is still asleep. It's 5.20. I woke up early to go to a viewpoint to see the sunrise. But I think we're the only ones. And we are almost the only ones who woke up so early. So hopefully we can find someone who can bring us to the viewpoint. See you there. It's easy to find a tuk-tuk this early. We arrived at the foot of the hill where we should have a 360 viewpoint. And if weather permits, see a sea of clouds. But in the meantime, it started raining again. So let's hope these rain clouds don't obscure the view too much. We paid 25 baht each for a Shongtao to bring us to the top. Take 
It's still too cloudy to have a nice view of the mountains. We are definitely not the only one at the viewpoint. Big groups of Thai people accompany us and take some selfies with the clouds. <laughs> Having clear views or not, the ride in the back of the truck is an attraction on its own. Back at the foot of the hill and again it starts raining. Can you imagine when the condition was perfect, it must be a magical experience. Even now, covered in rain clouds, it was worth waking up so early. Now it's time to go back to our guest house and have a breakfast. We have a dry window, time to go outside again. Stretch go, our legs. Stretch our legs, going to make a small walk next to the Mekong. Okay, again, time to take out our umbrellas. I'm singing in the rain and dancing in the rain or yeah. something. What a glorious day! <laughs> what a glorious day! It happened again! Yeah, yeah, it's happening again! Singing, dancing in the rain! But still, we both enjoy this walk! Yes, we are! I think we're still lucky because we are here, even with some little bit of rain. Yeah, you're very lucky to be here. Yes. I feel very lucky to be here. It's a very nice place. They make a nice path alongside the Mekong. So, yeah, it's great. Once we are walking on this path, we lose track of time and distance. We are completely into the moment. When you keep walking next to the Mekong River, you pass this small temple. It's not the most striking example of architecture, but the location is fantastic. Okay, it's happening again. We keep walking and walking from one temple to another one, and all of a sudden, we're four or five kilometers away from our starting point. The Wat Thaka is a Buddhist temple by the Mekong, three kilometers from Chiang Khan's walking street. This place breathes a peaceful atmosphere. This is why we love to walk everywhere. You have time to see the things to experience the things yeah. instead of taking a car or even a motorbike and hop from one thing to another just walk and take time to taste to experience everything that's what we have learned over the years too yeah when we were younger we rushed to every place oh we have to see this we have to see that nowadays if we don't see everything who cares and for us, we love it more to stay longer at one place than to hop from one to another because it's too hard. It's, it's, you get tired from it after yep. a long time travel. Mm. Just take your time, slow down, slow travel. You have slow food, but we love, love to slow travel movement. Yeah, slow life. Slow life, slow down in life, and you'll see more, you will experience more things. Yeah. Hear the sound of the cicadas. This is the walkway we've been walking on the last hour, two hours, I don't know. Uh, time to turn back. This is going all the way to the viewpoint. We're trying to reach this afternoon with a boat. 
see if we can grab lunch in this village we are both enjoying this walk very much first restaurant was closed but the man directed us to another riverside restaurant we'll see if they can serve us a lunch hungry very hungry always hungry born hungry We ordered a delicious fried rice at the only restaurant that was open. We stumbled upon a small open air factory of the local specialty, dried coconut meat. We see the process, how they make it. And they gladly invited us inside to have a look. Baby. For this sweet Thai snack, they use sweet young coconut, which they clean and cut in slices. To indicate the quality, they use A and B, with A being the best one. Next, they cook the coconut meat with a lot of sugar and some water in big skillets. Last process before we can eat it is to dry the coconut pieces. This candy is so yummy. We had lunch. A bag full of sugar. A bag full of sugary coconut meat. <laughs> so we decided to walk further to the viewpoint in case we don't find a boatman this afternoon to bring us there. And they predict rain. So if we find a boatman, we will come back. But if not, at least we've seen it already. Yep. The sky is clearing up. Sun is coming out. Nothing can stop us now. Bummer. This beautiful path is not yet finished. So the last kilometer, I guess, I have to walk the street. We're pretty sure we reached our destination, Ken Kuku. See local tourists with plastic bags full of souvenirs. Yeah. Restaurants lining. The Mekong. This is the place where the Mekong River makes a bend. It should, and that should give a nice backdrop of the mountains. Wow. Yeah, here in front of us. Here it is. Around 5 km from Chiang Khan's walking street, we find Kang Kuku. This is one of Chiang Khan's riverfront viewpoints with Lao in the background. We make our way back from the viewpoint, we leave Ken Kuku behind us. Uh, we've seen better viewpoints. Yeah, in our Chiang Rai tour, see Ling below. Yeah, right, Chiang Rai tour was very beautiful viewpoints. This place is very popular with local tourists. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> very popular with local tourists. Lots of restaurants. Busloads of local tourists. Yeah. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> Always have a lot of fun, these people. It's nice to see them having fun. Enjoying themselves. Yeah. Enjoying their own country. What Thailand has to offer. Hot. Please let it rain. Let it rain, let it rain, let it rain. Where are these rain clouds when you need them? It's so hot right now. The sun is burning on our face. So, going to be sunburned, I guess, by the time you reach our room. <laughs> oh, it rains. You only need an umbrella and a rain jacket. A hat? No. Sunscreen? No. It's now late afternoon. Around 4.30, 5 o'clock maybe. The sun is slowly setting already. 
trying to score a boat who can take us on the Mekong River for a sunset trip. This is the spot where we should be able to rent a boat and a boatman. But uh, hardly any boats around. This doesn't look good. Although the weather is perfect. I think you can expect a marvelous sunset tonight. Okay, we might have luck. Found a boatman who is willing to take us uh, on a shared boat. And apparently it's only 100 baht each. So if that's true, that's a bargain. Plans have changed. Apparently we had to wait for another hour for the boat, the shared boat to arrive. So we opted, we opted for a private one, slightly more expensive, 500 baht, but we can leave immediately. The most difficult part is to get to the boat. Where's my balance? It's perfect to have a boat all to ourselves. When you're only with two people and a boatman, you have better views and it's much easier if you want to film or shoot pictures. Glad we found a boat and a boatman. The sun is setting over the Mekong. Quite an experience. Yeah. Yeah. And then the private boat, you can share it with other people too. But you share it with other people with you This is magical. I will never forget this. There's no better place to be than sitting on a boat in the middle of the Mekong River, our favorite river. This tour takes around one hour. We enjoy every minute of it. This river is a natural border between Thailand and Laos. Two different countries, two different worlds. It was a really fantastic wow. boat ride. Truly magical. Yeah. Money well spent. You can't come here without no, a no. boat ride. Amazing. An experience I will never forget. We're passing Chiang Khan now. Going back to the boat pier. With the sunset in front of us. Yeah. Yeah, epic. epic. At night, Chiang Khan's famous walking street gets a little bit more busy. The shops and food stalls open their doors for the handful of tourists these days. Strange to see there's a scarcity of restaurants here. morning. It's another early morning in Chiang Khan, our last morning. This time we woke up early to see the morning alms for the monks. They're doing their, their round here in Walking Street. But I think it's going to be quite a commercial affair because the only thing I see for now are hotels preparing the alms for uh, their guests. The morning alms are not comparable with the ones we saw in our hometown Ayutthaya and the ones at Luang Prabang. Maybe we expected something more, more genuine, more atmospheric. Thank you. 
Good morning, quick recap because it starts raining again. I had a great time here. It is a great place to visit. Yeah. Shankan is absolutely worth a visit. The main draw for us was this river, the Mekong River, now covered in rain clouds. A uh, big plus was the walkway all the way up to Kan Kuku, five kilometers from here, so you can walk or bike or take your bicycle. Even the village itself, it's with the wood, wooden old buildings, I think it's very nice. Yeah. Uh, the viewpoint yesterday, although the weather was not really perfect, not good, but okay. still enjoy it and the boat ride. Wow, it's amazing. It's out of this world. So if you have a few days left, come to this place. Visit Chanka. Now get out of here, it starts raining. Never stopped raining actually. 